and welcome back to Pornification Live. I want to thank you very much for joining me here on ChubbyGo.com, where we are here at the Porn Star Party. Of course, Andre Shannon does a wonderful promotion here at Cat Club every third Saturday of the month here in San Francisco, California. And with me tonight, we have a wonderful star, Damien Rios with Raging Stallion. And he is here to talk about the To The Last Man video that is bound to be an epic that will live beyond my years. And so I want to talk to him a little bit about the film. Damien, how are you? Good, baby. How are you doing? Well, I'm, you know, I'm doing okay. Of course, I'm here. Oh, thank you. I'm here at a party with you, and I got through, you know, talking to a few people beforehand. Tell me, what was the experience like doing dialogue, sex scenes, all of that? Definitely. Um, we're, uh, we're not used to actually doing a lot of dialogue, and especially with this movie, since it was so long, there was actually about 38 pages of dialogue, probably even more than that. So it actually took a lot more than just going on set, um, either preparing yourself if you're bottoming or topping. You actually had to go there, go learn dialogue, go learn what you're doing. Um, so it's a different experience, and especially being on set for about two and a half weeks that it took us to be there in a remote location with the models just all tied down and not not being able to do anything was a different experience. It was amazing. Um, and actually, when we saw the movie, when Scott and I saw it together, um, uh, it brought tears to my eyes just because you never imagined how great it's going to turn, turn out until you actually see the final product. So I'm definitely definitely proud of it. So, Well, I've seen the movie and uh, several times, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen the movie, and there's something in there that I think is amazing. It's, it's your cum shot scene that, as far as I'm concerned, it's a Gabian winner, okay? Um, how did you feel about the scene? Uh, actually, it was really good. Uh, that was the first time I worked with Ricky, and actually, we I got to work with, I got to stay around with him for about a week before I actually had to do the scene. So I was a little nervous, since he's well, really well known. Super nice guy, amazing person. We uh, talked about our scene and how it was gonna go. There's a couple of uh, gunshots that went off during our scene, so it was a little shocking, but um, it was it turned out great. Great person to work with. He uh, makes sure that you're that you're comfortable. I enjoyed it being with him, and obviously with my cum shot, uh, <laughs> I I had a great time with it. So now everyone in the movie, except for one person, and I won't kill it for who does it, but everyone dies in this movie, and. Um, I know that that's kind of, you know, some people are a little uneasy about that. How did you feel about, you know, playing scenes where you may actually have to play a dead person? You, I don't know, I won't tell how you die, but um, how does all that work for you? Well, um, the, the, it, was, it was leading up to the deaths, because we all knew that we had to do it. Uh, and my death scene amongst about seven other people didn't happen until that very last day that we were on set. So as soon as we all died, they had to pack up the truck and get out of there. So it was a lot of hard work, and we all had to like go and practice uh, the night before and get it all done together. And it was an amazing experience just to see how it all came out. It was it, it was an incredible experience. And now I I, I plan on uh, interviewing Damien separately on the column, but um, one thing that you may not know is that he is one of the few, if not the only, double exclu exclusive model out there. Um, can you tell us about how that happened? How did that all happen for you? Uh, well, uh, luckily, um, being with Scott, he has introduced me to a lot of people, and I, I have to thank him uh, for getting me to where I'm at right now, amongst other people, directors, and um, they know who they are. I always uh, talk about them. But Scott's definitely involved me into a lot of the programs that we've been in. But I was already actually uh, reaching out to go work with Randy Blue. Um, Randy Blue and uh, Chris Ward, the owner of Raging Stallion, have already worked together with a previous model before and had allowed me to work simultaneously with the same company uh, while I'm working with Raging Stallion. And it's been an amazing experience as well, uh, being able to go out to LA and film with them, their beautiful models, and Raging Stallion, so it's awesome. Now I know you did some filming. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I know you did some filming the other day. So when will that product be out uh, with you? Um, that movie was a, a little bit behind. I actually filmed it about two days ago, so I'm still recovering right now. Um, it was uh, for Ink Stain, the um, the second part of Ink Storm. Uh, so it's all about tattoos and everything. It was a little bit of a rough scene, uh, but it was great. Um, you always learn from being able to work with different people and directors. And that's the amazing thing about it. And actually, the, my uh, scene partner that I got to work with was the scene partner that Scott worked with in a threesome. 
uh, for to the last man. So it, it, it's great. Um, we're all a family. We all know each other. Um, it, it's awesome. It's well, I just want to tell the public that if you don't know, uh, Damien does a lot of charity work, and he's been very gracious in giving of his time to some of the things that I do. And you know, I've always adored him. And I'm so glad that it, that I'm here to talk to him personally on the camera for you here at Pornification Live on Tobigo. Thank you very much, Damien. Thanks, BB. Thank you. Be back.